Hey everyone, and welcome back to your NC Go workout of the day today. I'm Jason, I'll be taking you through it. All you're gonna need for today, well, you're actually gonna need a couple of things. If you have a jump rope, grab that. If you don't, don't worry. If you have a dumbbell, grab that. If you don't, grab some type of loaded object. For today, you actually wanna go a little bit heavier than usual, because we're only gonna be using one dumbbell, something to take into consideration. If you have a cardio tool, like a bike or a rower, we're gonna use that for the warm up, and that's about it. So today, got a lot of body weight stuff going on, got a lot of dumbbell stuff going on, got a lot of EMOMs going on. It's basically the EMOM, EMOM all day, every day. But today's gonna be a good one. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for checking in with us. We have a five minute warm up starting in a few seconds. What we're gonna start with is one minute of cardio. While we're doing cardio, I'll talk through the rest. We're then gonna grab our jump rope and do some single unders, nice and easy. From there, we're gonna get into some mountain climbers, some jumping jacks, and some hollow rocks. I got you covered, follow along with me. It should take about five minutes. Let's have some fun. First step, one minute cardio. I'm gonna jump on the bike because why not? Here we go. We start in two, one, and let's go. Right now, I'm not going too crazy. Just warm it up. This bike is actually set a little bit low for me. Normally, I'd like to see my uh, legs extend a little bit more. If you're on a bike and your knees are super bent, you're gonna kind of burn out that quad a little bit, never get that full extension. Something to think about. If you're on a row right now, nice consistent pace. And if you're running or shuttle sprinting, go for it. Any cardio equipment, get your heart rate elevated a little bit. Got about 20 seconds left, guys. Nice and smooth. It's gonna be a hell of a day today. I could feel it. I could already feel the energy coming. Emoms are gonna be great. We go in five seconds. Here we go. In two, one, and let's switch it up. Jump rope, single enters. Take your rope, nice and smooth. Light on the feet, utilizing my wrist to create the energy. If you wanna switch it up, have some fun with it. One foot, little kick outs if you want. Side to side, 30 seconds. As soon as we get off this, we go into some, whoa, whoops, mountain climbers, which I'll take you through. 20 seconds, guys, awesome work. Here you go, 10 seconds. From here, we're dropping down to the floor. In three, two, one. All right. Hands are down. You can come up. Two, three, four. Huh. If you want to, you can come outside with your feet too. Right? Warm it up. Or inside and don't touch your feet to the floor. Pull it up. No sure what number I'm on. <laughs> we'll call that 50. Here we go. Next step, 40 jumping jacks. Again, just warming it up right now. Getting our heart rate elevated, moving our body through range of motion and having a hell of a time as we do it. Shoulders getting warm, which is really good for today. 38, 39, 40. I think that's right. Now we're gonna lay on the floor. Take your belly, brace it down, rib cage down towards your hips, arms above your head, 20. That's one, two. There you go. If this is really hard for you, bend your knees. 
this is really hard for you, you also come in here, here, right? Or if you want, be all the way up. The goal is though, to keep your shoulders off the floor and your belly braced. I have no idea what number one. You know, the thing about fitness is, let's see, I think it's about 20. Nice job, okay? So guys, typically our warm-ups take about five minutes. This one took a little bit less. Maybe I went through it quicker than usual. But let's finish up that warm-up, okay? It was one minute cardio, one minute single runners, then you went to 50 mountain climbers, 40 jumping jacks, and 20, I believe, hollow rock. Hopefully not 30, 20. All right, what I'm thinking about is just, is my body feeling more warm than it was before? Yes, for sure. But now it's time to get into our EMOM for today. And this is gonna be a little bit of a full body strength style, okay? So it's gonna start off like this. It's an EMOM for six minutes, right into an EMOM for six minutes. Meaning every minute on the minute. You're gonna start off with 30 seconds of elbow to push up. So it's here, down, back up again, okay? Pretty cool. Then from there, you hold a plank, okay? Now we can hold a plank in a push-up position. We can also hold a plank on our elbows. That's totally up to you. We'll see what you want to do. So it's 30 seconds of that, 30 seconds of plank for six minutes. Directly into 30 seconds of alternating dumbbell snatches, okay? So you're gonna take your dumbbell. One of my favorite movements. I don't know why, just, I love it. I love how it takes a weight from the ground over your head. One beautiful seamless transition, straight up over your head. You could transfer it right here in front of you. You could transfer it on the ground, right? What we're thinking about, flat back, driving through your legs, through your heels, opening your hips to get great power to finish up overhead. We're doing that for 30 seconds, then we're gonna hold a squat, okay? Nice easy squat, chest is tall, weight is towards our heels, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So six minutes, six minutes, and we're having a hell of a time while we're doing it, okay? So we can put the dumbbell to the side for a minute. If you don't have one of these awesome NC Fit Mats, they are a great investment. Uh, this is a brand new one of them actually, so I'm excited about it. All right, Ema, six minutes. Let's get this bad boy started. Whew, do it with me, here we go. Sorry, in 10 seconds, guys. Whew. Push up to elbows, push up to elbows, elbows to push up, 30 seconds, and then a plank hold. This thing get, this thing get real. I'm gonna alternate arms as I come up. What I'm trying to do is keep my hips relatively square, keep my body relatively rigid as much as I can to feel comfortable. 10 seconds. Three. Two, one, and hold. Now, you can hold in this push-up position, or you can hold down in a plank. Either one. This is gonna get real spicy. Ah. 10 seconds. From this position, we pop back up again. In three, and let's go. Right back up, right back down. Oh yeah. Whoever came up with this one. <laughs> 10 seconds. If this is getting too tough, drop to your knees, still perform the exact same thing. Okay guys, here we go, three, two, one, push up or plank hold, your choice. Again, if this is too tough, drop to your knees, but keep your body nice and rigid. And if you can, turn your shoulders over your hands. 15 seconds. Woo. In three, two, one. Oh my goodness. This one's gonna go down as a tough five minute test. <sighs> 
10 seconds. It's amazing what you can do with no equipment and rotate. If you're here and you need to, right, drop down, rest if you have to. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And let's go. Oh yeah. It's a tricep burner right here. Guaranteed to get that pre-beach pump. <laughs> oh man. 10 seconds. This is actually the easier part. And hold. You need to go to side to side. Two, one. All right, guys. Last minute. Let's scream it. Tricep pump tone. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. And then we go three seconds. Then we go right into a plank hold. Then we go right into our snatches. Here we go. Woo. Fifteen seconds. Tough to keep your hips down. I want to put them up. Two, one. Ah. Woo. All right. Oh, shoot. It's a six minute EMA. No. Got one more round. One more round. What was I thinking? Sorry, guys. My bad. My bad. Oh yeah, this is real. Three, two, one. All right, last plank or push up hold. My bad on the confusion. Here we go. I did the plank in the last one. Switch it up. Ten seconds. All right. All right. Here we go. Grab that dumbbell. DB alternating snatch. Let's go. Oh yeah. Arms are already a little shot from that. Six minutes you want really. <laughs> Trying to move non stop here. And squat hold. So I have a decently heavy dumbbell, nothing crazy. But my goal is to go unbroken the entire time. I'm glad I'm giving my shoulders and arms a little bit of a rest. Those planks were tough. 10 seconds. Here we go. All right. DB alternating snatch. Let's go. What I'm thinking about hinging on my hip 
loading yeah. my hamstrings up, creating power by extending my knee and opening my hip. Very important. And rest. As in my squat, as my hips start to open, I'm gonna try and focus on maybe a little wider stance, a few different positions. But right now, what I'm focused on is just crease the hip, low knee joint, trying to shift my weight towards my heels. Three, two, oh baby. Here we go, hinge the hip, load the hamstring, drive up. Sometimes I like to put my opposite arm, opposite leg. Get a little more power. Yeah. Keep Mike also switch out. Oh, rest. Down at the bottom, okay? Oh, shoot. I forgot. It's a really nice mobility drill too. I'm trying to keep my low back flat, I'm trying to really squeeze my lower spine. Staying engaged, it's easy to get relaxed. I'm trying to engage with the position. And let's go, dude. Woo. If you want to switch it up, you can try alternating down the floor. I like to hold the dumbbell facing forward. And I like to reset as the dumbbell drops down on my shoulder. All right, here we go. You're starting to feel a little knee pain. Uh, you know, go to a depth that feels appropriate. Maybe hinge your hip back a little bit. A little less pressure in your knees in that position. All right, here we go. Back at it, chest is tall, hip hinge, drive up. Not much of a rest here. It's like static. Dynamic movement here, static movement in the squat, right? Try a little wider stance, see how it feels. Fifteen seconds. Last round coming up. Almost there. Couple seconds. All right. Let's go. Hip hinge, drive up. Last round. All right. Hold that squat. Fifteen seconds, finishing it out. Whew, I'm feeling good. Ten seconds. All right. Oh. Wow. All right, let's rest. All right, so I gotta tell you guys, boy, that was tough, that was good. That plank to push up, you know, 
it gets real. And hopefully you guys realize, like, I'm trying to do this just like with you, right? What we expect of you guys, what we expect of ourselves. Like, we're going to push it. Not crazy, right? We're going to push it a little bit, though. We want to get in a great workout. And when I'm on the microphone or by myself, you'll expect, you know, similar effort. The difference is when I'm doing my workout by myself, I'm not trying to talk as well. So trying to find that balance here. So workouts coming up. Okay, this one is... Uh, the best to be described as just exciting. Exciting is going to be the best way to describe it, all right? We have an EMOM for four minutes, 10 to 12 DB up down. That's going to be a single DB. So we're going to drop it in an up down position with one dumbbell. You got to be careful. Make sure you have hex dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, okay, just do an up down with me. We're looking for 12, you know, maybe 14, 10, 12 reps of this, okay? Every minute on a minute. We're then going to rest for one minute and I'll tell you what the next step is, okay? So right now, all I need you to do, pull out your NC Fit mat. Pull out your dumbbell, okay? And we're gonna get ready. The party's gonna get started. We have a four minute EMOM coming up. That means it's only four minutes of our day. You've already been crushing it with me for almost 20, and I appreciate all of you. So let's have a hell of a time. Dumbbell up down. I'm gonna drop down to the floor. Boom, up, suitcase lift. Then I'm gonna switch over to the alternating side, okay? That's what I'm looking for for today. Let's see how pretty we can make them. Let's see how many reps we can get in. All right, here we go. We start this party off in 10 seconds. I love this exercise. Drop down to the floor, lift something up on one side of your body. Doesn't get much more practical than that. Let's go! seconds guys we ready for our next round here we go same exact thing try and keep that same number i did 10 but had to fix my shorts <laughs> there you go one rotate on the top or rotate on the bottom up to you whole position off the floor try and stay engaged Okay. Here we go. Two more in. Ready. Drop down. Balance position. Set the back. Squat it up. Is what I'm thinking about. Oh yeah, these are getting good, huh? One minute left. Ready. Last one. Let's bang in our 10. I'm switching up techniques here. I'm trying to use a few different ones. Ugh. 
No. Ten. Technique is an interesting thing. It'll never be 10 seconds. All right, here we go, rest. All right, guys. Technique is interesting, right? It'll never be perfect, but we want it to be good. When you're coming off the floor with this thing, try and hold good positions, but they're not gonna be perfect, and that's okay. But also, don't get sloppy. Can't be sloppy. All right, next one. 45 seconds, alternating DB snatch. Got you here. 45 seconds of double unders. If you don't have double unders, just hop for 45 seconds. We got this, okay? If it was easy, everybody would be doing these workouts with us. But you're in here grinding it out with me. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. Alternating DB snatch, 45 seconds. Three, two, one, let's get it. Game time, 45 seconds. We're going for a six minute EM on here. Use those hips, drive it up. Thirty seconds, fifteen seconds. Make it happen. Find your rhythm. Five seconds. All right. Double under. Ready. Set. And let's go. Again, if you can't do double unders, switch it up. Do swing unders. If you can't do swing unders, just hop. Let's go. 30 seconds. I'm thinking about using my wrist, finding a focal point on the floor, staying consistent. 10 seconds remaining. Whoa. 10 seconds remaining. All right, here we go. Ready. Let's go. That's one round down. Yeah. Two more to go. If this gets too tough, right? Change on the floor. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Woo! Round two, baby. Double under time. Me against the rope. Ready, set, let's go. Single under. Feel good? Add in a power jump. Feel good? Power jump and spin. Ooh. 25 seconds remaining. Final works for you. If you're jumping, you even try side shuffles or jump over your dumbbell if you want to. Great scale. Substitute, I should say. Five seconds.
All right. Here we go. Ready. One more round. Two. Let's get it. Single arm DB snatch. Use my legs, use my hips, use my arms. Legs, hips, arms, arms, hips, legs. Legs, hips, arms. Let's go. Fifteen seconds remaining. Use those legs and hips. Drive it up. All right. Woo! This is good. Last one of these. Can we get a break? Let's go. Deep breath. Ready. 20 seconds. Ten seconds remaining. Three, two, woo! All right. We got one minute rest, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming back to the up down with a single DV and double enters. So today, if you want to try, try some dumbbell hops instead of double enters if you want. We have four rounds of this one. Remember, when you receive this dumbbell, it's a little weird, I'll be honest with you, right? So try your best. Just set your back as tight as you can. 20 seconds. But it's very practical. Think about how often we lift things on one side. My wife earlier today, her trap got all started seizing up because she lifted up the garbage bag. It was hella heavy, the wrong way. This is a good example. How do we set our back? How do we get in a strong upper back position? Even if it's not perfect, it's still good. Ready? You, me, let's go. Smooth is fast on this one. Interchange at the top or interchange at the bottom. Your choice. Fifteen seconds remaining. Last five. Let's go. Whoa, that was a little bit of a huh, rest. Hip hop move. Timed it wrong. It's okay. All right. Dumbbell goes away. I'm gonna hop. Ready, go. If you're here, that's fine. If you go forward and backward, that's fine too or lateral. If you want to, visualize yourself jumping and spinning your wrist. Start developing that mechanic. Go in, out, in, out. Whatever you can, you want to keep the body moving through this time. If you want to spice it up a little bit, come here. Jump over your dumbbell, laterally or forward. You have 10 seconds. There you go. These get tough too. 
All right, rest it up. Here we go. Back on it, round two of four. Let's go. Nice work, crew. If you need to, don't lift the dumbbell, right? If you need to, drop down with it. Stand up without it. That's okay. All right? Keep it moving, though. Ten seconds. That's it. All right, rest. Double enters, here we go. Ready, set, let's go. Smooth, smooth, jump. Smooth, jump. Find your focal point. Keep your elbows in. Whoop. 20 seconds. Elbows are in and back. I'm utilizing my wrist. Last 10 seconds. real round three I think round three ready set let's go lift strong Every time, drop back, kick forward, set the back, lift. That's what I'm looking for. Every single time. I don't care how you get the dumbbell there. Uh, 10 seconds. Uh, let's go. All right. Here we go. 10 seconds. Who says these empty goes don't get you sweaty? I don't know who did. Sure as hell it wasn't me. All right, let's go. Ready, set, jump. Once you feel good here, right? Spice it up a little bit. Speed it up. Feel good there. Add in a, a power jump. Feel good there. Let it rip. Whoa, or not. Here we go. 20 seconds remaining. Center yourself. Focus. Let's get it. Last five seconds. All right. Doing great, doing great. You know what time it is, right? It's last round time. Ready, let's get it. Smooth as fast here. Ah. Last 30 seconds, last 15 seconds, excuse me. <sighs> Try and set that upper back, tough, I know. Ah. Get it, one more. 
Here we go. Ready. Last 45 seconds of work. Let's go. Oh boy. Find your pace. Find that consistent measure that you can go off of. Oh. All right, here we go. 20 seconds remaining. Let the wheels off a little bit. Here we go, ready? Set, wheels are off. Wheels are way off. Here we go. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Woo! All right. That's it, Ollie. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget about our NC Fit finisher and our ready state mobility of the day. Great stuff we have going on here. If you have any feedback, questions, concerns, hit us up. This is just the beginning of what we could do together. Just the beginning. Check out other programs. Have fun. Keep training hard and remain consistent. Let's go.